Okay, so it's a picture of a barn. All right, this is my best recreation I could do. There's the, oh, it's not some piece of paper because I had trouble. There's, there's like the, the wind vane on top. It's like, ooh, it's all pretty. Okay, so here's our barn. Here's our barn. All right. Um, and in this picture, all the lines on the barn are the white trim on the barn. So um, they're saying that A, C, then they draw this, and then they draw E, G. This means AC and EG are parallel. So it might be hard to see in my picture because it's not perfect, but EG and AC, those are parallel. Then JA is parallel to HB. So that's JA, JA, HB, so parallel, parallel. And then JC is parallel to KG. Let's see, JC, KG, why not KD? I'm confused. Okay. So, measure of angle one is equal to question mark. Measure of angle three is equal to question mark. All right, so it's just a little puzzle. So, let's see. Well, I know I've got two parallel lines here, right? And I see 68. So two parallel lines, then I could count this as being a transversal. That means that if this one's 68, well then this one's also 68. All right. Um, oh, this line's not supposed to be there. So if that's 68 and that's 68. Well, then hey, we know that this is the, um, the comp, or not the comp, the supplement of that, right? Oh, I didn't even label. Here's angle two, here's angle three, here's angle one. This is actually angle one. So angle one would be the supplement of 68. So 180 minus 68 goes right there. That's gonna be 112. So angle one is gonna be 112 degrees. Let's see, angle three. Hmm. So for me, I look at angle three and I go, well, hey, look, I got two parallel lines here. I know that's 68, I know that's 112. Then I know, oh, I don't know this because there's like an extra line here. But like I know 68, this is also 68, right? So that means that this is 68. Oh wait, this one's measure of angle three. Okay, okay, I guess I'm done. Wait, are there any more questions with this or is that it? So I knocked my ink over again. Man, the struggle is real. All right, here's our next, there's one more little problem in here, E, this is like part two of this. EJF is equal to 56. Find FHK. All right, let's see. EJF, right, is E to J to F. I just connect those dots. This is 56. Find FHK. So I'm looking for this. Hmm. All right. So here's the problem. I've got a parallel line here and here. Those two are parallel lines. So like this is 56. So then it's corresponding angle up here. This is 56. We kind of have to ignore this line out of existence. So if this is 56 and then that's 56, well then I can say that this is 56, but I'm trying to find this angle here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's 
Well, that one's 56 and that one's 56. Aha! If we didn't explicitly say this earlier, so this one right here, let's just, you know, let's throw like three lines on it, why not? That one's 56. This one and this one together, these are gonna be supplementary angles. These are called um, same side interior angles. 56 and that so they that's gonna add up to 180 and so that's gonna be hundred and twenty-four all right so we can look at simple problems with this we can look at complex problems with this um, I don't recommend using um, a glass pen although it was a lot of fun to use all right I hope this has been helpful, and I will uh, post another video soon. Bye!